welcome back to another episode. Now we are on Schofield Welding. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Jake Schofield. I'm a rig welder out of Colorado. Um, we travel for work. We've been very fortunate. We've been able to stay in this area for about three years now, working on about four, and still living out of the fifth wheels just in case you never freaking know, all right? Especially with oil doing what it's doing right now. Um, you might have to pick up and leave. So everything's pretty much packed up, ready to go, just in case. But uh, we're hoping that we can just continue. Right now, we've been very, very fortunate, very blessed. And uh, we're just keep producing for the company that we're working for, keep just trying to make those guys money as best as we can, and just everybody try to ride out the storm, all right? So that's kind of what we're doing. But uh, guys, thinking about starting another YouTube channel, Schofield Cooking, Schofield Pipeliner Cooking, I don't know on the road cooking, full-time RV cooking, I don't know, we'll figure it out. You guys leave a comment in the bottom, what, what should we name it? But, as you guys know, I love cooking out of a black pot. A Dutch oven, a black pot, cast iron pot, whatever you wanna call it, the thing just makes food taste phenomenal. It's the best way to cook as far as I'm concerned. We're over coals, cowboy cooking at the finest. I love, I just love cooking. Kent Rollins, uh, I love that dude, super just, I love his channel. He's just a good dude, just a good cowboy, and I, I just really enjoy him. But anyways, got the charcoal lit. Everything's starting to glow pretty good. Um, we'll kind of scoop these into each other, let them finish lighting. But guys, today, we're gonna go ahead and cook some Mexican fajitas. Now, I'm really excited. We're very fortunate. We have a Mexican grocery store just down the road, about 10 minutes, and they have pre-marinated fajitas. So, I've never tried their fajitas before, but I've actually passed that grocery store probably a hundred freaking times and always been like, man, I want to kind of go in there. I want to go in there. And I'm glad I did today because how much do we spend in there? Liza, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. <laughs> it's something like that, man. I loaded up. I, yeah, it's hard to get me out of, out of uh, places like that because my favorite, most favorite ethnicity of food is Mexican or like Tex-Mex. That's my ultimate favorite. So, guys, we have the chicken fajitas, steak fajitas. We're gonna go ahead, let these finish cook or finish uh, lighting, getting hot. Then we're gonna throw everything in the Dutch oven. Now, what we're gonna do right now is um, all the heat is towards the bottom. It's gonna be the same thing as if you're cooking on your stove top, uh, just in a black pot. So, hope you guys don't mind the wind noise. I know it's it's kind of windy out here. It's pretty breezy, and and Balin is in there just having a blast right now. So, anyways. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, leave a comment down at the bottom. Let us know what if and if we should start a new channel with just cooking and then um, and then what we should name it, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, share this with your friends. We'll talk to you here in a bit, all right? Hope to see you guys on the road. Be blessed. Hope you enjoy. We're getting ready, coals are lit, everything's ready to rock and roll. I'm um, gonna go ahead, throw this oven on really quick, get it getting hot. We're gonna throw this on a little butter, get that all buttered up, you know what I mean. A little blacky. You're pretty hot, little dog. This little dog will find a heat spot and just like, sometimes when we're camping with the oven, or uh, not with the oven, with the stove, she will literally go lay like right next to it. Sometimes you touch her and she's so hot to the touch. You're like, dude, what in the world is your deal? But she loves heat. She's like her mama, huh? So why it's a hot spot. But, all right, let's get this going. Buddy, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and cook the chicken first, just because you know you don't want to eat a raw bird. It doesn't work out good for most people, and with the corona going around, you don't want to add that to it. Could be in some deep crap. 
So, chicken first. Then we'll throw some beef in. Then we'll cover it. Everybody, stay tuned. These are gonna be amazing. Tasty morsels, Jetty. Can be good. Huh? It's gonna be <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so good. Awesome.